guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. It is going to be a one brand tutorial and this is actually a set of products I've been dying to finally open up and just start playing with. Um, I've actually got my hands on this makeup last month but you guys know I've been traveling and there's just been no time and I finally found the time today to sit down, film this and just actually play around with it, give it a little bit of time, observe what's working, what's not working. It is a high-end brand, it is a luxury brand. Givenchy Makeup is a brand that I have loved for a very very long time. I've been very very well acquainted with their lip pencils and lipsticks. That's always been a set of products that I've known and loved. Um, but I got to try out a lot of makeup from the brand today. I don't think this qualifies as a sponsored video, but I did receive all of the products in PR. So full, honest, transparent disclaimer over there for you guys. If you're looking to invest in some high-end makeup, I feel like this is the video you really like because you want to make sure you spend your money on the right kind of products. There are a lot of products I've liked, but there are also some misses on this. So make sure you stick around till the end because there are hits and misses and you will get to know which ones I liked as we go along with this video. This is the final look and I'm going to show you how I got here. Let's dive right into it. To start out with, I prepped my face with the Hydra Sparkling Serum. Now this serum I found to be very water-based, very watery, very easily flowing across the face. It's not thick, it has a runny consistency which could be a good thing if you have, I guess, oily skin. For someone like me who has dry skin, I prefer products with a little more thicker consistency but the texture and the feel was really nice and light. So I guess this is really great for our summers. To prime my face, I used the mattifying primer from Givenchy. Now this mattifying primer really surprised me. I took just a little bit on my hand and instantly as I went into my face and I applied a little bit, I saw my pores just blurring out. It had a really nice thick texture. It felt a little silicone-y and gelish in a good way. It had a really nice feel to it and spread all over my skin really easily. Also, I had to use very little in quantity to go all over my face, which is always a good thing, especially with luxury products. I could instantly see my face blurring up and I really like it when primers can do this. So for the foundation, I used the Radiant Matte Foundation. I used this in the shade 05 Matte Honey. Now I have to be honest, I was not sure I selected this shade correctly. I selected this particular shade online and I usually get my shade bang on, but when I looked at it in the bottle, I was a little bit worried because I was like, oh my God, this is too light. But I took lesser quantity. I know for a fact that with Givenchy makeup, a little goes a long way. It's sort of like Fenty in that format. So I made sure I didn't overload on product quantity and very little, very little, I kept building it up from very little and went all over my face with a foundation. Somehow, despite the fact that it looked really light initially, I feel like the foundation turned out to have a really good match. What's also worth considering is that the foundation does oxidize. So I guess it blended in really, really beautifully with my skin. I'm also currently pretty tan with all of my travel and my foundation shades have been going up and down a lot. So I feel like I'm gonna hold on to this one because I feel like this one matched my neck and my body really well once it oxidized. Okay, so picking a concealer was a little tricky. I had three shades at hand over here. I decided first of all to go ahead and wet my beauty blender. Wetting my beauty blender is something I always do before I go in with my concealer. So for the concealer, first off, I went in with shade number three. This was a really good shade, but I felt like it was a little too peachy for me. So I decided to add in a little bit of number six from the concealer. The concealer range is called Mist Light Instant Light Corrective Pen. It has a click format where the product comes out into the pen and then you can just apply it on your um, under eyes and on all the other high points of your face that you want to see highlighted but concealed. Number six and three did a great job of giving me the kind of coverage, giving me the kind of shade that I wanted and the concealer actually blended in really really well. One thing about luxury makeup items is that sometimes they're meant just for my skin but better and uh, I'm someone who likes full coverage. So that's sort of like a fence I'm always working towards to see what's buildable and what's not. This concealer was really great and I can definitely see myself reaching for it more often. To set all of the base in, I used the matte and translucent finish loose powder. Now this is translucent. I would normally reach for something with a little bit of pigment just to add to the full coverageness. But like I said, I feel like the brand has a little more my skin but better vibe going for it. So I decided to take a little bit of the loose powder. A sponge comes inside the loose powder itself and uh, give myself a really thin soft layer of the finely milled powder. 
what I did see was that there was this instant slightly white cast all over my face. It did go away in just a couple of minutes, so that's great. And I instantly felt my skin look sort of like airbrush. I feel like the makeup set in really, really beautifully. So this powder, I would say, is definitely something I will reach for more often because it set the makeup in really nicely. It did not have any flashback. I tested that after I finished the makeup look. And at the same time, I feel like it was so nice and fine that it could go all over my face and not just in certain parts of it. Normally I use powder only to set in my concealer and high points but I feel like because it was so nice and fine I could go all over my face even though I usually have normal to dry skin. For the brows, first off, I used the eyebrow pencil in the shade 02 Blonde. I used the spoolie end of it first to comb out my brows and then with the other pencil end, I made slight small dashes and gave myself a feathery finish into the eyebrows. Not gonna lie, I thought 02 Blonde would be a tad bit too light for me but to be honest, I think it did a really good job. I could build this up even further but I feel like that natural to slightly built up look is what I was going for. Once I was done with using this product, I went in and used the Mr. Brow Groom from Givenchy to set my brows in, which I think gave my eyebrows that slightly nicely done Instagram friendly look. I'm totally digging both of these eyebrow products and I will definitely be reaching for these two really, really soon. And now it's time to go to the face. I used the Silky Face Powder Quartet. This has contours as well as highlights. It's all very natural. It comes with a little brush inside it. So I decided to give these brushes a spin just to see what it might be like. With the help of this brush that actually resembles the Hoola brush quite a bit from Benefit, I gave my face a little bit of a soft cut across my cheekbones. Now I have to tell you, I went in with a little bit of a low expectation on this because looking at the product, I felt like it would not give me the kind of coverage I wanted to. But I was pleasantly surprised. The brush was also really good and helped me carve out the cheekbones and then I swapped a brush for a longer one from my own collection just so I could add a little more pressure and just use the grip normally um, to build this up even further. I felt like this one really surprised me. I was kind of expecting to not like it thinking this would not do much for me but it did really really well instead. Next up for the blush, I used the Prism blush. I have this in the shade 04 right. This also came with a tiny little brush of its own. I gave it a little bit of a spin but then I swapped it over for one of my Sigma brushes which is absolutely perfect for blush. This is a really nice coral and pink tone. I felt like it built up really beautifully. I cannot stress this enough but I'm really surprised with how well the face products turned out for me. I feel like maybe I haven't tried these before so I was kind of expecting for it to not give me the kind of coverage I wanted but the overall Overall finish was really nice. I felt like it was very natural and at the same time something I was totally able to build up. For a little bit of fun on the face, I went in with the 2-in-1 highlighter, the Tint Couture. This is a Radiant Drop Highlighter. I had this in the shade 02 Radiant Cold. This actually comes in a little dropper format but I was afraid to drop too much product on my face like what happened in the Jeffree Star video. So um, instead what I did was just use the little brush to give myself little dots over my face and then with the help of a brush just blended it all in. Okay, going over to the eyes. I used the Prism Quattro, which has four colors. I had a shade 5 Frisson, which is the eyeshadow palette I was using. This has a really nice blue, green, gold, and slightly pinkish tone. I went ahead with a shimmery navy blue and covered my lid up. I made sure I left the inner corners completely open because I wanted to do my signature inner corner pop. Then with the help of another brush, I took the teal shade, which is also shimmery, and went into the crease line. I thought this would soften the sort of smoky look that I had created, and the product products within each other blended really well but I did have to build up the shade quite a bit and then for the inner corner I went ahead and mixed it up with the fourth shade the pink one and really popped up my inner corner I did sort of like how the eyeshadow look turned out but considering the price of the palette I do think that there are more products in the market you, you would rather consider honestly speaking by itself is it a good product yes I liked it but at the same time I just feel like Considering the price it is, I'd rather buy something else that would give me more shades, that would give me more color to play with so that you could create more looks. And also if you were looking for a more natural look, the evenness would be easier to play with. You wouldn't necessarily have to build up just because it was going to be slightly patchy at the beginning. To define my eyes a little bit, I used the Givenchy Retractable Eyeliner. Now this is a cold pencil actually, so it's like a pencil. You can use it as a liner, you can use it inside. I really like the way it defined my eyes, so I went into my waterline with it, I went into my lash line with it. 
I did have to build it up just a little bit but I didn't mind that because I felt like it had a really nice buildable quality I'm kind of glad that this didn't go all the way jet black because I didn't want that look so I've sort of left my eyes looking defined but not too stark out I feel like this is a product I'll definitely be reaching for a little more and then it's time to go into my favorite part it's time for the lashes so i have two mascaras here one is the primer which is really interesting to me the primer comes in this baby pink packaging which basically it's it's sort of like a cream you apply all over your lashes this in itself curls up your lashes and you can start seeing the actual length of it it does have a little bit of color so you obviously have to top it up with a normal mascara after i'm a sucker for the classic black mascara so i went in with the classic black mascara from givenchy right after i'm really happy with how this played out on my eyelashes i feel like it gave my lashes length it gave my lashes a curl of course it can't compare with my forever love for false lashes but i feel like on days when i want to skip the false lashes i feel like this is a combination that i'm definitely going to be reaching for more it is a set that really worked very well for me and i'm super picky about the mascaras i use so the fact that i like these definitely says something and it's time to go over to the lips now i forgot to show this to you earlier but i basically used little bulgari lip balm sometime back my lips were getting super chappy i showed you guys what i got this from in my travel hacks video i'm going to link that in for you in case you haven't seen it for my lip liner i used number 08 palm silhouette this is such a lovely shade i almost wanted to stop wearing my lipstick just right here because it looked so loved i did overline my upper lip just a little bit and join my cupid's bow i've been working on making sure my upper lip looks fuller because that's something i'm personally pretty conscious about to fill up the lips with the lipstick i went ahead with the shade number 215 neo nude from givenchy's la rouge mac range this again is a really really beautiful color the bullet looks stunning i started out with thinking i would just put it on the center of my lips and create an ombre finish but i really liked it and i really liked the way it mixed with the lip pencil so i just went ahead and blended the whole thing in Okay last but not the least I just wanted to build up on the liquid highlighter a little more so I went back to the initial palette which had the contour as well as the highlighter and I just added that little finish of powder highlight This palette is definitely something I'm reaching for more often because the highlighter as well as the contour were both absolutely stunning super buildable it gave me the glow it gave me the bronze finish I feel like a lot of the products today have really surprised me and I'm very happy with the final result Okay so there you go now you know about the products that worked for me didn't work for me I will try to find whatever I can find and link those products down below in the info box I'm always putting links down below in the info box so make sure you guys check that out as well let me know which of these products you might like to try I feel like I always want to hear your thoughts on drugstore versus sort of premium high end versus like luxury I want to know what your thoughts are what does your makeup vanity consist of mostly do you buy a lot of high end or do you prefer just buy maybe like more quantity from the drug store range let me hear your thoughts because i would really like to get to know you guys better so i know what sort of makeup brands what sort of makeup products to play with that you guys will genuinely enjoy go ahead and sound off in the comments because you guys know i'm always reading and responding to you guys down below okay so that's all for today i really hope that you guys hit the subscribe button that bell button on keep coming back for more videos i'm very regular on youtube i'm very regular on instagram as well and i do actually i've been doing a lot of really cool um, quick makeup looks especially on instagram so make sure you guys go ahead and follow me over there all right then i will see you in the next one thank you for tuning in i love you very very much Mwah.